Cauliflower is our go-to vegetable on a keto diet, right? But if you're bored eating cauliflower the same way, try this recipe. This is restaurant-style keto cauliflower curry, also gobi masala. It has layers of flavor and it is absolutely delicious. 3.3 grams of net carbs, let's make this together. I'm using a medium-sized cauliflower head which is 5 to 6 inches in diameter. I cut the florets into medium-sized pieces and wash them really well. Next, we're going to make fresh ginger garlic paste for this recipe with half an inch of ginger and three cloves of garlic. We're going to grind it until we get a coarse paste like that. Set that aside. Next, we're going to take two tablespoons of plain unsweetened yogurt. Not too much yogurt on a keto diet, that's enough. To this, we're going to add a quarter teaspoon of hing or asafoetida, half a teaspoon of cumin powder, two teaspoons of coriander powder, and two teaspoons of Kashmiri red chili powder. Don't worry, this is not going to make our curry too hot. Next, we're going to beat the yogurt really well so it turns nice and smooth. Now let's set that aside. We will set a pan on medium heat and add about 3 tablespoons of oil. I use avocado oil. And next, we're going to add half a teaspoon of turmeric powder, followed by all the cauliflower florets. Next, we're going to add some salt to taste. We are going to stir the cauliflower florets so the turmeric coats every floret and we're going to place the lid on for about 3 minutes or so so that the florets almost cook through. We don't want to cook the florets until they're really soft, like 70% or so would be perfect. That looks good, it is slightly soft, there's still a little crunch to it and at this point we are going to crank up the heat and we are going to stir the florets till they have a nice brown color because that's what makes it really yummy. This could take anywhere from 8 to 10 minutes. Now we are going to quickly take the florets out and to the same pan we are going to add about a teaspoon of oil and 1 tablespoon of ghee. Remember to turn down the heat to medium again. Once the ghee melts, we are going to add half a teaspoon of cumin seeds and a 2 inch cinnamon stick. One small onion finely chopped and we'll also add in the fresh ginger garlic paste that we made. We are going to stir fry this for about a minute or until the onions turn slightly translucent. If you're new to my channel, welcome. Consider pressing that subscribe button for exciting keto curry recipes every week. Next, we're going to add in one small tomato, also finely chopped. Sprinkle some salt so the tomatoes cook faster. Mix everything together and we're going to place the lid on for about a minute or so or until the tomatoes turn mushy. Using your spatula, press down on the tomato pieces so it forms like a nice pasty consistency. Next, we're going to add five slit green chilies to it. And remember that yogurt masala paste that we made, we're going to add that in as well. I'm going to quickly add some water and give the bowl a rinse. And now we are going to stir fry this till most of the water evaporates. It's going to take about a minute or so. And you're going to quickly see that the paste looks kind of oily like that. Perfect. At this point, we are going to add half a cup of water. Give it a quick stir and now we're going to place the lid on and let that gravy simmer for one minute. Next goes in one teaspoon of garam masala powder and one tablespoon of dried fenugreek leaves or kasuri methi. Crush it in between your palms and add that in. Time for our cauliflower florets to come in. We are going to coat the cauliflower florets with this delicious gravy. Guys, you should try this recipe. You know how good it smells here? <laughs> Give it a taste and add more salt if needed. Also add in half a teaspoon of powdered black pepper for some spicy kick. Also squeeze some fresh lime juice. Don't add too much lime juice if the tomato was too tart. Make sure to taste it. One important tip is to stir fry this for about 2 minutes till the liquid dries up. That makes it taste really yummy. We are going to garnish with coriander leaves. And you just made restaurant style food in your kitchen. And guys, have this with some keto roti. It tasted really good. This roti has such a mild taste that the curry is going to shine.